Hey everybody, it's Fish according to Steve. Today I'm going to talk about the Inkbird ITC306T. Uh, Inkbird sent me this unit so I could product test it and also blog about it. And so here's a short video on how to set it up because it was super confusing with the instructions they sent. Uh, the packaging was awesome that they sent it in, very professionally packaged, shipped on time, even a bit earlier than the um, date it was supposed to arrive. But the instructions are chaotic. So I'm going to run through how to work this unit with you. This unit is plug and play, meaning you plug it into an outlet and then you plug your heater into it and you pop this little probe attached to the unit into your aquarium and it will begin reading the top temperature is what your aquarium is at the bottom temperature is your desired um, aquarium temperature so it's working to get up to 80 for me right now so let's run through this a little bit as you can see there's a set button in the middle you hold that down three seconds to start the adjusting of your time and stuff like that. There's an option where you can set a different temperature. Say you want the tank to cool off overnight. I've done that. My daytime temperature desired is 80. My nighttime temperature I'm going to set to 75. And I'll show you how to do that. So let's get into the setting mode. You hold down this for three seconds, the set button and it goes immediately to temperature setting number one. That's 80 degrees. DS1 is the differential setting, meaning I'll allow it to go three degrees off my desired temperature before the heater will kick in. CA is calibration. My tank is one degree off of this unit, so I've calibrated it for minus one degree. CF is centigrade or Fahrenheit. I enjoy the Fahrenheit functions and TR is for the timer, as I've said, the nighttime setting. So here we go. The timer setting is set for 75 degrees for nighttime with a two degree differential. And eight o'clock in the morning is when that setting will end, okay? So if you take too long, it reverts back to your uh, normal display. So let me be clear here. The first setting you come to on your second temperature setting is when your second temperature setting will end. Eight o'clock in the morning is when it will go from 75 degrees back to 80. I'll show you. Again, temperature setting one. Differential one, calibrated to minus one, Fahrenheit, timer one, 75 degrees is the second temperature required with a two degree differential. 8 a.m. on the 24 hour clock with zero minutes. This starts at 8 p.m., which is 20 hundred hours, and zero minutes. The next setting is CTH, which is the current time, and right now it is 6, 6 p.m. and six minutes, six minutes after six. And then it will take you back to the temperature, temperature setting one. So as you can see, the confusing part here is, if you're setting your second temperature, it gives you the, the setting where you can adjust the second temperature but then it gives you the end point first. So my temperature is gonna be 75 degrees overnight. You think you would start with the second setting 8 p.m. at night and end at eight in the morning, but it doesn't go like that. It actually starts with eight in the morning, meaning the end of your desired time frame, And then the second setting you, you, so you flip to is the ending of that desired time frame. That was the really confusing part for me. I hope you understand it. To be clear, 
Let's go through one more time. Eighty degrees is the daytime temperature. Temperature setting one. With a differential of three degrees. It can go down to 77 degrees before the, my heater kicks in. Calibrated to minus one degree, the adjustment between my tank and this inkbird unit. Fahrenheit is what I've chosen. I've set a timer. And the temperature setting for the second mode is 75 degrees with a differential of two degrees. It can go to 73 degrees overnight before my heater kicks in. And here you go, 8 a.m. is when my second time heater will kick off and revert to 80 degrees. Right there, with zero minutes, 8 a.m. in the morning. I want that then to turn to daytime temperatures. And here's the other side of it. 8 p.m. at night is when it will start and zero minutes. 8 p.m. at night is zero minutes. Current time right now is 6.09. And to set those, all those things, you hold down the set button for three seconds at the end and you're done. As you can see on the left side, maybe you can't see very good, but there's a little red light called work one. And over there is work two. Work one means my first time uh, temp temperature setting is working right now. At nighttime, the work two light should be on, work one should be off after 8 p.m. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope I've set some things straight. The instructions definitely need to be improved upon. After I read the instructions about 10 times over, I went directly to YouTube and tried to learn how to work my Inkbird ITC-306T. It is a very good unit, being that it allows you to adjust temperature and have a second temperature value. I love that part for nighttime temperatures. And there you have it. Thanks. This has been Fish According to Steve.